Irfan Khan said an announcement of having cancer shocked all of us. And it has been months that Irfan Khan has been missing from the public view. He is fighting his battle with a neuroendocrine tumor in London and no one actually knows about his health condition. Some reports have claimed that his health is improving, but there's no confirmation on his health condition as of yet. And now Irfan himself has spoken about his battle with a neuroendocrine tumor. He has surrendered irrespective of the outcome. The pain felt more enormous than God, he added. Here's his full note that he wrote for Times of India. It's been quite some time now since I have been diagnosed with a high-grade neuroendocrine cancer. This new name in my vocabulary, I got to know, was rare, and due to fewer study cases, and less information comparatively, the unpredictability of the treatment was more. I was part of a trial and error game, I had been in a different game, I was traveling on a speedy train ride, had dreams, plans, aspirations, goals, was fully engaged in them. And suddenly someone taps on my shoulder and I turn to see. It's the TC, your destination is about to come. Please get down, I am confused, no, no. My destination hasn't come, no, this is it. This is how it is sometimes. The suddenness made me realize how you are just a cork floating in the ocean with unpredictable currents. And you are desperately trying to control it. In this chaos, shocked, afraid and in panic, while on one of the terrifying hospital visits, I blabbered to my son, the only thing I expect from me is not to face this crisis in this present state. I desperately need my feet. Fear and panic should not overrule me and make me miserable. That was my intention. And then pain hit. As if all this while, you were just getting to know pain, and now you know his nature and his intensity. Nothing was working, no consolation, no motivation. The entire cosmos becomes one at that moment, just pain, and pain felt more enormous than God. As I was entering the hospital, drained, exhausted, listless, I hardly realized my hospital was on the opposite side of Lourdes, the stadium. The mecca of my childhood dream. Amidst the pain, I saw a poster of a smiling Vivian Richards. Nothing happened, as if that world didn't ever belong to me. This hospital also had a coma ward right above me. Once, while standing on the balcony of my hospital room, the peculiarity jolted me. Between the game of life and the game of death, there is just a road. On one side, a hospital, on the other, a stadium. As if one isn't part of anything which might claim certainty, neither the hospital nor the stadium. That hit me hard. I was left with this immense effect of the enormous power and intelligence of the cosmos. The peculiarity of my hospital's location, it hit me. The only thing certain was the uncertainty. All I could do was to realize my strength and play my game better. This realization made me submit, surrender and trust, irrespective of the outcome, irrespective of where this takes me, 8 months from now, or 4 months from now, or 2 years. The concerns took a backseat and started to fade and kind of went out of my mind space. For the first time, I felt what freedom truly means. It felt like an accomplishment. As if I was tasting life for the first time, the magical side of it. My confidence in the intelligence of the cosmos became absolute. I feel as if it has entered every cell of mine. Time will tell if it stays, but that is how I feel as of now. Throughout my journey, people have been wishing me well, praying for me, from all over the world. People I know, people I don't even know. They were praying from different places, different time zones, and I feel all their prayers become one. One big force, like a force of the current which got inside me through the end of my spine and has germinated through the crown of my head. It's germinating, sometimes a bud, a leaf, a twig, a shoot. I keep relishing and looking at it. Each flower, each twig, each leaf which has come from the cumulative prayers, each fills me with wonder, happiness and curiosity. A realization that the cork doesn't need to control the current. That you are being gently rocked in the cradle of nature. Well, we hope Irfan gets well soon.